Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Everything Teams and a little bit of OneNote. I'm Andy Matisse and today I'm going to show you a really quick and simple way to rename your class notebooks. Alright guys, let's get straight into it, but don't forget if you like the content Nathan and I put out, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell button so you're going to get notified anytime we bring out new content. So today I'm going to show you a really quick and simple way to rename your class notebooks. Now, why would you need to do this? I guess maybe for a lot of my teachers, if they have a class that is rolling over from year 11 to 12, the name in the class notebook will stay the same. If it's 11 English 1, it will stay 11 English 1. And if that teacher gets a new 11 English 1 class, it's going to make it a bit confusing. So they can rename that to year 12 English 1, or they could rename it to the year at the end of it. Whatever it might be, if you want to avoid some confusion when you're getting multiple notebooks that are the same from year to year. So what we need to do is we're going to open our class notebook in SharePoint. So we start in our file section in Microsoft Teams and we head across to the three dots and we're going to hit open in SharePoint. The SharePoint is obviously the software that runs in behind the background in Teams. All right, so here we are in our SharePoint side for my demo team. And where we want to go now is up to the little settings cogwheel. Then we're going to go down to site contents. And the last one I'm going to click on is Site Assets. So if you don't know where this is, you probably never would find it. But you can see there is my class notebook, Year 8 HBE. Now if I have another Year 8 HBE class and I want to differentiate between the two, all I simply have to do is click on that and rename it as you would with any other file in SharePoint. I might make it Year 8 or I might make it Year 9 or it might be I put 2023 at the end of it. Whatever it might be, it's really simple and easy to rename that. So you can see it's renamed there in SharePoint. If you want it to then sync across to your OneNote, you may need to close your OneNote from the app and reopen that from Teams. And then it should appear with that new Year 8 HB 2023 name. So it's very easy to differentiate between two different notebooks. Thanks for watching. Ciao.